Continuing the three-part review, we have the remaining Constructicon legends. First, Scavenger, or Demolisher. And call him what you want. This is a nice downsize of his Power Shovel alt mode, compared to the Voyager and Super versions. His arm can actually move at one point and scoop some things up, which isn't much, but it's better than nothing. As for how he looks, well, he's proportionate, has nice colours, though they had to compromise for the robot mode wheels by giving him fake wheels alongside his actual treads. Still, that sort of thing is expected at this scale. His robot mode is a faithful representation of the Voyager figure. In fact, it's an improvement in a way. Because using these treads, you can balance him and free his arms and claws for posing. Articulation in general is still rather limited, although his wheels can roll. As for his general design, well, some say it's unique, others say it's lazy. Personally, I'm okay with it. You just need time for it to grow on you. His head is very insect-like, which works for a lot of these movie Decepticons. Overall, I'd say Scavenger is middle of the road as far as this set goes, between mildly recommended and recommended. Next, Scrapper. In keeping with his G1 roots, his alt mode is a front-end loader. Of course, you can't lift the shovel all the way up, but you can angle it a little bit. Still, it looks very good just like the others, and he's one of the G2 coloured Constructicons. He doesn't have much paint on him though, so he looks a little plain. Some signs of wear and tear might have helped him a little bit. Still, it's not too bad. Scrapper's robot mode is the most humanoid of the seven. Well, he has skeletal limbs and claws instead of hands, but it's more traditional looking otherwise. Unfortunately, there's even less paint here than before, so he looks rather bland as a result. To make up for it, he has the best articulation of the seven. This isn't saying much, but his ball-jointed ankles help to get him in plenty of poses compared to the others. In general, I'd say Scrapper is second best of the lot, but he comes very close to being first. Now for Long Haul, perhaps the most faithful to his G1 self, being a green dunk truck and all. All these figures have great vehicle modes, and Long Haul is no exception by any means. While the paint is lacking, again, the mold detailing is quite nice for such a small toy. As you've probably guessed, the bed doesn't tilt back. Well, it does in a way, but only during the transformation. See what I mean? Like Overload, the robot mode is a definite brute, 
but the proportions are more on the humanoid side. He also has some very dark grey to break up all that green, so he isn't terribly bland looking. Articulation, just like the others, is limited. He can move at the hips, elbows, and in a way at the shoulders. Oh, and don't forget to flip out his feet or else he won't be able to stand properly. Of the seven, I'd say Longhall is my personal favourite, despite his flaws. Although there is another Legends Longhall coming out soon, so you may want to keep an eye out for that. Finally, there's Hightower. He's a crane, and is one of the G2 coloured Constructicons. While he looks good, the treads don't connect to the body as well as I'd like them to which hurts an otherwise solid vehicle. For features, the hook can swing back and forth, or if you want, you can flip out, if you can, this claw piece here, which looks a lot more deadly. The robot mode is more of a beast mode, especially with the scorpion-like tail, which can swing to and fro, just like earlier. The puny arms and the treads which are spread out to the sides help with the general monstrous look. His caged head adds character if you ask me because it suggests that he's rather vicious inside. You can lift the cage up to reveal his actual head though. Overall, I'd say he comes in fifth place, but he's definitely one of the more unique figures in this set. The final part of this review will cover the combination transformations as well as Devastator himself.